Hey guys, today I'm going to be updating you about the Genshin Impact dev blog that they just released. This dev blog includes information that can grant you a free 5 star character if you follow the details. If you go to the Mahoya website and then go to Genshin forums and then go to info, you'll see this developers discussion here. And here the developers have some question and answer interviews type of questions. And these provide a lot of good information about the upcoming 1.2 patch. For question one, it looks like they're gonna implement a private chat function to 1.2. So in co-op before you join a player, you can privately chat with them to see what they can farm and like help out. This will bring a lot of quality of life improvements to the co-op playing system. In question two, you can also change your friend's nicknames. So if they keep on changing their name or if they don't have their real name, in their game attack, then in 1.2 you can nickname them to their real name so you don't get mixed up with different friends. In question 3, it looks like there will be a trackable pin whenever you um, take on a mission so there will be like a direction where you need to go so you don't have to open the map anymore like repeatedly to know where you're going and what direction you're going in. So that's pretty good as a quality of life improvements. A lot of these are just quality of life improvements. They don't really change the way that we play Genshin Impact as a whole, except for the last one. So for question four, I wish I could repeat a domain without having to leave and re-enter. This will improve efficiency a lot because the developers in 1.2 are adding the ability to repeat a domain without having to leave. So this makes you not go through any loading screens between the cutscenes and everything. And it also minimizes the risk of your friends and co-op members leaving. So that's pretty annoying. But if you just want to repeat and repeat and repeat, this will be a very, very good quality of life improvement. For question five, the developers are going to have a new improved domain and leyline outcrop reward system. So you don't have to collect them manually anymore when you're exiting the domain. So the developers in 1.2 are making it so that they automatically go to your inventory. So, so if you accidentally fall down from the domain and for some reason like lose the rewards, you still have them in your inventory. For question six, this isn't a very big one, but it's like a quality of life improvement where it's pretty good for people who just want to play for the story. So there'll be an autoplay animation and you don't so you don't have to like click your mouse button every time you want to progress through the story. For question seven, this also benefits the people who want to enjoy more of the story and not the combat. So for question seven, the developers are adding a place where you can view the dialogue of, of previous quests. So in 1.2, they're going to add a travel log section to the archive. All dialogue from previously completed Archon quests and story quests will appear here. In question 8, in co-op mode, the progress is interrupted when a player quits the game. So this is another quality of life improvement where the developers are implementing a interrupt free um, leave option. So when a teammate leaves a co-op game, it does not affect any of the other teammates. So that's pretty good. And this is the game changer. Last but not least, Mihario tells us that every time we level up our character to level 20, 50 or 70, we get one acquaint fate. So that's three acquaint, a maximum of three acquaint fates each character coming out in 1.2. This will most likely get us to the pity in the original banner with a quant fates. So if you do the math, if you have every character in the game leveled up to level 70, that will grant us about 75 quant fates. So you know that there is a soft pity from 70 to 90 rolls. So if you have every single character, which, which some people actually do, they will receive a free five star character likely because there's gonna be a pity from roll 70 to roll 90 where it's gonna be an increased chance of getting um, a legendary character from roll 70 to roll 80. Even if you don't have every character in the game like I do, you still have the potential to get at least like 20 to 30 uh, quant fates, which is gonna be a great addition to getting your first pity for the quant fate banner because you'll most likely have just a little bit to go before you get pity. With the quant fates from the battle pass, which awards you with one quant fate every 10 tiers even if you're Sojourner's battle pass which is the free battle pass 
It also rewards you with primary gems and there's events that reward you with more quant fades as well as the adventurers guild which rewards you with a quant fade sometimes when you level up your AR level. As you can see, I have like 69 rolls and 70 to 90 rolls is the pity rate for the, the soft pity. I bet everyone in the player base who plays regularly will get this free 5 star character from the Wanderlust Invocation banner. This is because players will most likely have enough wishes for the free 5 star from the Quan Fates. As you can see, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. I have 24 Acquaint Fates eligible. And this is without even leveling up my base characters. So the Lisa, for example, Lisa and Kaya and Amber and Sucrose, they can all be leveled up to level 50 pretty easily without having to spend your majority of your purple XP books. Because from level 0 to level 20, that's like 10 AXP books. That's not that much for one Acquaint Fate. So it's a really good deal. I bet Mihoyo is just trying to get us to test out new characters and not just stick with the current meta. With this, players can like... With this encouragement from Mihoyo, players can discover new teams to build on. For example, Sucrose and Amber. Well, Amber is not really good, but um, people can discover things about Amber that they've never discovered before because they haven't leveled her up to like, let's say 20 and they haven't even tried her out. So I think Mahoyo is doing this um, for the better because they want players to discover more combinations of team members to uh, play with. So that's basically all the information I have right now. Make sure you don't forget to claim your 200 free primary gems every day for four days. That's 800 free primary gems. You can watch my latest video for that information. So. That's all the dev blog covered. Thank you for watching and please subscribe and like for more videos like these. I'll keep you updated if I have more information. Peace.